Hello to you, my wonderful audience. Welcome to another episode of Talk with Trisha. Yes, and it is part two of The Truth About January. I don't want to waste your time, so let's just delve into it. Now, Dr. Zugan K of the University College of London, who works on time perception, confirms that starting January after Christmas leads to boredom, which leads to the impression that January is slowed down. Hmm. He has a point. Even I agree with it. Now, when people say time seems to fly when we're having fun, the dopamine clock hypothesis is an appropriate explanation. When there is a higher level of dopamine, the neurotransmitters in our brains motivate and rewards us, which speeds up our internal clock, making time seem to move faster. Along with our internal clock speeding up things, our collective acknowledgement that January is long makes it feel longer. Like the moment we are crossing over to the new year, people already have already come to the conclusion that January is a long month. So the moment we already have that assumption, the moment we've already concluded, it automatically makes it feel long because we have automatically accepted and concluded that January feels long. Basically, what we can, you know, grab from what I just read from that write-up by Denny on Boss Caribbean is the fact that January is not a long month. We as humans, we've already, you know, after having to spend during the December period, get rests, have fun, you know, like the whole December is packed with loads of events. Meanwhile, there's nothing to look forward to in January. January is like almost every day is like almost the same thing. So there's nothing spectacular about January. So we, you know, when you tend not to be doing anything, like there's nothing to to spike you up, there's nothing to get you excited. You, you feel like the time is slow. Whenever you, you're so busy, you discover that it seems like the, the time is fast. That's because you're already occupied. So you're not even, your consciousness is not even going to the fact that is it 10 o'clock already or is it 3 p.m. already? Because you're, you are occupied at that moment. So by the time you even want to look at the time, you feel like, oh, the time is fast. Because you did not, you know, you, you were not giving your attention to the time, but rather you were occupied. So let's bring that down to, a normal day in January when there is nothing to do other than just go to work and go to school. You know, it seems like every day is like the same day. Every day is like the same day. There's no fun moments. There's no no surprising events, you know, and no packed programs and stuff like that. So because of that, you tend to want to feel that January is long. Here's a shocker. January does not have more than 31 days. January does not have more than five weeks. So... January is not a long month. It's just it just feels because there is nothing really to look forward to in January. It feels that way because we have overspent during December. We've had fun, we've rested and everything. That's another reason why January feels that way. So if you're one of the believers that January is a long month, have a rethink now, okay? So people... We've come to the end of this episode of Talk Patricia. I hope you've learned a thing or two about January. Yes. So reset your mindset. So I come your way again. It's still the program, your favorite program where we talk about everything, lifestyle, fashion, motivational talks, and virtually everything that needs to be talked about. Yes, we get to talk about it. And in order not to miss out on the juicy content that this channel has to offer, I advise that you click on the subscribe button yes and of course turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever a content is being uploaded also do not forget to invite people to this channel yes don't be the only partaker of the goodies that is coming out of this channel take care people see you soon